Hi everyone, Andy here yet again um, for another instalment in our Yas Adventures, the further adventures of Yas. Here we go. Um, today we're learning yet another call, and today it is Slalom and another one, 5 4. So we're going to learn two because they're actually quite similar, um, and I will explain the difference later. So I'm going to start with Slalom, um, the first one. Um, and so in the normal fashion, I'm going to talk about priorities and points and when we would call it. Um, and then I'll move on to 5-4. So priorities, slalom. So basically what we're going to do with slalom. So if you think of skiers doing a slalom, they kind of like go one way and then they go the other way. And then they go one way and then they go the other way. And it's exactly the same with when we're playing yas. Um, so we're going to do, um, for example, a top down on the first round and then the second hand that we play, the second um, trick that we play would be a bottom up, then the third trick would be a top down again, the fourth trick bottom up and so on and so forth. Um, because we have nine cards the one that you start with will be the one that you end in. So you just have to remember which way round that you're doing it. Um, I'm going to assume for the moment that we start with a um, let's go with a bottom up. So I'm going to start with a bottom up. If we start with a bottom up then we would count it as a bottom up the whole thing. If we start top down then it will count, the points will count as a top down. So whichever one you go with first that's um, how that's that's the points that you would score for it. Um, so even though four ninths of the tricks are the opposite way round, um, that doesn't matter, all of the tricks when you add, up, add the points up at the end all of the tricks would um, count as whichever one you led with first. So if you led with the top down, you would count it as a top down and so on. Um, when would you call it? <clears throat> so normally you would have had lots of high and low cards and not many middle ones. Um, so I've got an example for you lined up here <clears throat> where we have um, one, two, three sixes and a seven, a couple of aces and a king and so on. So that's a very good uh, slalom hand so as we're leading off um, I you, you know you'd probably you would start with I'm going to start so I have three four masters as a bottom up and I have one two three masters as a top down so I would therefore probably start with the bottom up because I have three sixes as well so if I start with the bottom up they'll be worth 11 points so if I started with the top down my aces are only I only have two aces which are then worth 11 points if I started top down so here I'd start as a bottom up um, and just go my, I don't know, six of hearts and let that play out, my ace, then another six or maybe my seven and then another ace and then a six and a king and so on and so forth. So we'll just play that out from there. Um, interesting one here, I have uh, a six, seven, nine and I have the ace and the queen so I'm missing a king and an eight um, here, gaps here. So I, as I'm playing this, um, I could almost make a match, except I'm just missing these two cards. So I would try when I'm playing to to, to, to pull, to, to get some of my opponents to have to play um, the eight um, and the king. Um, actually, it would be either one, because if they play the eight, then my um, nine becomes a master, so that gives me another um, trick that I can play and hopefully win. If they play the king, then my queen becomes a master on a top down. Um, and I can then make another trick with that and with that other lead hopefully then pull the eight out afterwards so um, it's quite good in that way quite flexible because you can sometimes with a, like a hand like this I can manipulate which way uh, which cards I go with to try to pull out the um, the danger cards if you like that might work against me so I'm, I'm I can depending on which one I would play might pull a different card so you're really trying to think what one am I after? So here I'm missing the king, so I really need to do something to find that king um, and to pull it out. So I would be playing my low cards to try and pull that king because I know they would be the master, if that makes sense. If not, tell me in the comments. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so that's a slalom. Play all nine tricks, get to the end, count them up, add it to your score, etc. Um, slight difference to that would be um, a 5-4. Um, as I said at the start, which is a separate call. Um, so you could list it separately separately on your Quaffer um, score sheet. Um, 
we, um, as an example, I'm going to replace this queen here with a seven over here. And suddenly that becomes a bit more... Um, oh, actually, let's not do that. Let's not. Let's take the king out instead. There we go. How about that? So now suddenly I only have two masters as a top down. And I have one, two, three, four, five masters as a bottom up. So actually the option of five, four, much more appealing now. Why? Because with a five, four, it's similar to slalom, except you do all five of one of them first. In this case, a bottom up followed by the remaining four tricks the opposite way around. So this one I would do five bottom followed by four top, top downs. So I've got one, two, three, four, five masters of a bottom up, um, and then I have one, two masters of a top down, and hopefully having played three uh, tricks in hearts, the king would already have gone, and then I could make the queen, and then hopefully the ten and jack have gone, and I can make that. And I've got a match, thank you very much. Um, so that's um, a 5-4, same really as a slalom except you do them all in blocks. And again, whichever one you start with, that determines how many, um, how the points are scoring. So if you start with the bottom up, as in this example, you would count it as a bottom up, even though the last four tricks you play as a top down, and vice versa. If you started it as a top down, then you would count it as a top down, even though the last four tricks were a bottom up. Um, so there you go. That's Two for the price of one today, uh, so that's a slalom and a 5-4. Hope that was clear um, and you understood, but again, if there's any questions on that, if I've missed anything out or if you need more jokes put in back in, let me know and I'll see what I can do on the next exciting instalment. Um, we've still quite a few more of these um, different calls to go with. Um, and I say, this is really, really gets interesting because you've got lots of things to think about and um, lots of options available to, to you. You can add whichever of these calls you want to your Quaffer score sheet. So if you don't like a particular one and you all agree beforehand which um, which calls you're going to put on your Quaffer short score sheet, uh, then do that at the start of your at the start of your game. But hey, here's two more that you could add to the list. All right, I hope that was okay. Um, have yourself a good evening. Enjoy playing your Yas. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you need to, uh, if you want to check what other videos come up um, to catch the rest of these calls that's coming later. All right, bless you guys. Uh, have a good night. Thank you very much. Goodbye.